From Universal Studios Hollywood, welcome to Home and Family. Dr. John Kennedy is here. Welcome, doctor. He's here explaining the latest tests to detect heart problems and give us some critical insight as to how we can prevent heart attacks. Some That's new right. stuff out and some things we should be doing. That's right. And uh, heart disease is the number one killer in both men and women. And I'm going to tell you about five numbers that can save your life. And I'm going to tell you about a bunch of new tests that will help you prevent a heart attack. Right. Yeah, we still want to oh, know that. Good stuff. Okay, thank All you, right. Dr. Welcome. All right. All right, we're going to be right back. Heart disease remains the number one killer of men and women, and here with some of the latest tests to help prevent heart attacks, the author of the Heart Health Bible and director of preventative cardiology and wellness at Marina Del Rey Hospital is cardiologist Dr. John Kennedy. Welcome, doctor. Welcome, Thank doctor. You. All right, so right out of the gate, I got to go, what's wrong with just a simple stress test? Why can't, is this no good anymore? Yeah, it's a great question. So a simple exercise treadmill, especially for women, is inaccurate. Why is that? 35% of the time. There's a lot of different reasons. We think it might have to do with different hormone levels. Um, sometimes it has to do with um, women's risk factors, but 35% of the time, that simple regular treadmill test is wrong. Does it give a false what? positive kind of? It uh, does. Yeah. That's the most common uh, abnormal test is a, is a false positive, which means the test is abnormal, suggesting there's a blocked artery when there's not, mm. which leads to a number of additional tests that are not needed. So the, what, uh, what's the proper way to go about it? Well, just real quickly, I yeah. want to say yeah. one more thing. So in a regular treadmill test, what's really important is when it's negative, and it says you don't have the disease, you might still have it. So that's why yeah, you yeah. really need to pay attention and, and get the mm -hmm. right test with your doctor, especially women. So what kind of test are we looking at? Yeah, so the best test that we have for women is called an exercise echocardiogram. And that adds to the accuracy of the test. And when we do that test, we look at your heart muscle with a special type of technology called ultrasound. And ultrasound is the same technology that we can see the baby with that's mm -hmm. growing in the uterus. And that allows us to see how the heart muscle contracts when we stress your heart and make it move. So here's an example of an echocardiogram. And in each of these views is actually your heart. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna break this heart. So, oh. that poor heart. <laughs> but basically, all the images in cardiology are, are, are the heart in different positions. So here, here's your heart looking at the heart muscle, and we can see how the heart contracts when we're stressing it under exercise. If there's a blocked artery, we can see one of the walls of the heart doesn't move properly. When it's abnormal, we then do the next test, which can either be an angioplasty or stent, which you may have heard of. Mm -hmm. That's how we fix the hourglass narrowing in the blood vessel, or sometimes even surgery. So the vessels look so teeny tiny, so it's not really difficult to clog them up, is it? No, it's not. And, you know, that's what keeps us alive, these three blood vessels, which are about the diameter of a straw that you would drink out of. And mm -hmm. your heart, if you make a fist with your left hand, that's how big your heart is. And if you put your right hand and put your middle finger over your knuckles, mm -hmm. that's how, that's what keeps us alive are these three blood vessels. And over time, we develop these narrowings in those blood vessels, which make the heart muscle thirsty. And if they become completely closed, the heart muscle dies. That's what a heart attack is. All right, um, lately, I've, I've had a cardiac CT calcium scan. So it, because I think that I should, well, actually, my doctor told me to get it. So is this an, is, <laughs> I was like, is this self-administered? Yeah. No, no. But is this one of the preventative things that it, we should be doing? It is. It can be. It's, it's a great test. It's probably the most modern technology we have, and it's a way of diagnosing coronary artery disease before you even get symptoms. And that's right. important because right. for two-thirds of men and half mm -hmm. of women, their first time presenting ever with heart disease is with a heart attack or sudden death. So a cardiac calcium scan is a great way, if you don't have symptoms, to diagnose coronary artery disease before you have symptoms. Right. And here's a great example. Again, this is the heart in, in this position. Um, if we were sort of like in the kitchen, we were, we were cutting things up. If we, had a, if we had a tomato and you were making medallions, you know, uh -huh. to make a pomodoro salad or something. Oh, but, look at but you, the chef th and this the doctor. Is, wow. <laughs> Competing with Tony now, <laughs> just so you know, for the perfect <laughs> man <laughs> title. I, I, <laughs> Can you dance? <laughs> so, Sorry, no, so go much. ahead. Go ahead. But, but here's your ticker, and, and this 
calcium is, this white spot is calcium inside those blood vessels and it tells us about plaque. Plaque is a buildup of, of, um, of uh, stuff Protein. like <laughs> calcium and cholesterol and scar tissue and that's what causes blockages in the blood vessels. You can get a cardiac calcium scan and see whether you have the beginnings of this process before you ever have symptoms which allows us to make sort of a preemptive strike, a, a very right. preemptive strike and prevent heart disease yeah. from ever occurring. By the way, mine was absolutely clear. So, um, but if I had it, if it looked like that, am, am I in trouble or can, is there something I can do? It's a good question. So if your score is zero, like yours, Christina, that is a very good prognostic indicator, meaning that over the next 10 years, it's very unlikely that you'll have a heart attack. So that's really good. If your score is 200 or more, that, and you don't have symptoms, that means you need to be probably on a cholesterol lowering medication, maybe an aspirin and other medications that would lower your blood pressure and maybe even treat diabetes if you have it. So there's another test called the CRP protein test? CRP, CRP protein test is a great test. It's a simple blood test that helps measure inflammation in our body. And we know that inflammation is directly linked to cardiac events. And it's a very simple test that uh, helps de de determine your risk. In fact, in women that have high CRP levels, they have a four times higher risk of having a heart attack. Well, um, I was always concerned because uh, years ago I did a research on a book I was writing and this was before it was like, oh, uh, heart attack uh, kill is the number one killer of women in America. So I did a lot of research myself on it and I ended up getting one of those aorta uh, tests as well. Mm -hmm. Carotid. Uh, carot carotid for the artery, carotid uh, artery, artery. Which comes off your aorta. Yeah. Yes. Well, I'm yes. not a doctor. I just play one on TV. <laughs> but but uh, I had one of those as, as well because I was concerned that because I do have high cholesterol naturally. It's in my family. I had family. the same test as well. Yeah. Same mm -hmm. situation. That's another so my, great do, test, and it, and, it, and it does come off your aorta. Your aorta right. is the main artery that comes off the heart pump, which is sort of like a half football. Mm -hmm. The aorta gives off two blood vessels in our neck called the carotid arteries, and we can measure with that same technology. Again, you just lie flat, and we put a transducer right over your neck with a little bit of gel and we can see the lining of the, the blood vessel. This is the carotid artery <clears throat> uh, put out sideways mm -hmm. and we're looking at the thickness of the wall of the blood vessel. When it gets thicker we know that that thick blood vessel wall correlates with your risk of having a, a heart attack. Do you go in at that time and clean it out or, or no, you know, rotor rooter it? No, we don't go in and clean it out. <laughs> this is like a very small change in, in the thickness of the blood vessel that we can very quickly determine and that helps us define that risk for you and it helps us uh, treat you with medications to prevent blockages from ever occurring. I was told it was an early, early indicator. That's exactly right. It's now, an early indicator of, yeah. of having a, a heart attack okay. or a coronary artery disease. Should men and women have all of these tests or just one? If you were going to suggest just one test, and by the way, does insurance cover it? Mm -hmm. Well, first of all, uh, you should have, if you have risk factors for heart disease, I try to tell people you should know your numbers. And there are five numbers that literally will save your life. It's your blood pressure. What is your blood pressure? What's normal and how to achieve it? How much and how long and what type of exercise should you do every day? What's your uh, blood sugar? Most people don't know what their blood sugar is. That's an important indicator for, for heart disease in the future, especially if you have diabetes. What's your waist size? Your waist size is a really good predictor. It's an easy thing to do. It costs a dollar to measure. To get well, a what should measure. your waist size, if it goes over what? How many if, inches? If you're, if you're a female, I don't hear this. Wait. If you're female <laughs> it should be less than 38 inches. 38. If you're male, less than 40. Okay. And then the last thing is your cholesterol. If you know your numbers first, and then you know what normal is, you should then adopt a, a, a plan to help you achieve all those numbers and you'll prevent heart disease from ever happening. Okay. Wonderful. Well, more and you. more information for, on Dr. Kennedy, you can go to johnmkennedymd.com. Great stuff. Thank you, doctor. I'm glad I've been doing the carotid Ooh, artery situation you. for yes. a long, thank long you. time. Thank you. All right, we're coming back.